One day, you're going to look around and you're going to realize that everybody loves you, but nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling in the world. I admit it, another hole got me finished. Broke my heart, oh no you didn't. So today we got another interesting day of news times. What's going on guys? Northern 97 here. Back again with another video. Today we are talking about the recent news around the NHL from September 16th, 2020. So... We got quite a bubble of things here, stuff from yesterday that we did not cover that happened after the video we posted, um, about a bit of rumors of the past couple of days and all that, all that good stuff, and um, some good stuff. So, let's get into it. So, um, this is a little bit of a shorter news time, since um, we're actually splitting the two different ones between news time and rumor time. So, if you guys want to know, because rumor time is a new series that's going to come up pretty much right after this video comes up. And it's gonna be a pretty, pretty interesting, pretty interesting video series. So I hope you guys are ready for it. All right. So starting off with the news time, the Arizona Coyotes have re-signed goaltender Aiden Hill for a one-year contract worth eight hundred thousand uh, dollars. This season, Aiden Hill was two, four, and three in nine games played this NHL this season. Now, this doesn't mean anything towards Kemper and um and um Ranta. Not really. Um. If they were gonna lock, if they were going to like trade Camper, they would have signed this guy for more than a year. I doubt they're gonna trade. I doubt they'll trade Camper unless there's some huge acquisition. Cause with this Arizona team, you know, after they made the playoffs and all that good stuff, I don't think it would really be smart for them to um for them to trade him. And I mean, you know, he stood on his head in the Coyote series. Not the Coyote series. All of them were Coyote series. He stood, head to, he stood on his heading in, in the qualifying rounds against Nashville. He played great against Colorado despite those back-to-back 7-1 losses. Oh, those still hurt me to, till this day. And, you know, you can't be disappointed in this team. But heading into next season, they're really gonna, the, the, this team's going to go through a lot of change. And we're going to save that stuff for the 2020 review and the 2020 future of them. But you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna know that this is gonna be, this is like a year for change for the Coyotes. It's whether they get better or they get worse. It, it, this year will determine that. Um, another thing, there's a lot of crap going around about the Panthers right now. Um, we do have another Coyotes thing. Um, we're gonna name that right after this. Uh, the Panthers are going to part ways with assistant coach Mike Kitchen after an alleged physical altercation with a player. Now you you can't tolerate that crap on your team. So I get why I get why they're um they're not gonna have him on the team. They're also announcing the hiring of Rick Dudley and Paul Fenton as the senior GM advisors. So they're really they're really just changing up their staff. Uh, Gregory Campbell as the VP of Player Personnel Slash Development. Blake Jeffrey on as assistant GM, and then PJ Fenton as another scout. So Florida Florida's really changing up their staff right now. You know, Quenville, Quenville and um, all the other players are really building around this team. And I think that, you know, if Florida really wants to stay in the... And, and at this point, I'm going to say this. If Florida wants to stay in the stay in Florida, I'm going to say that right now. Because this cause this season has to be it. They have to make the playoffs. They have to at least get past the first round. They have to start getting their crap together. They have the players, the, there's, they have the players that can do it. Spencer Knight, Jonathan Huberto. If they can keep Mike, Mike Hoffman, they can, they'll, be, they'll be a much better team with him. But, like, the thing looking at this team is, if they lose another year, they are not having that much of salary cap coming in. Or that much of attendance coming in right now anyways. So, you know, if they if they miss the playoffs this season, even more are going to leave. And then that's going to just start, that's just going to start relocation rumors. And I think that Florida, it's very key that they at least make the playoffs. And if not, they have to at least make it past the first round. Honestly, I, I it's not looking good for Florida if they don't win this season. To be clearly honest with you, if if they don't win this season or at least don't make the playoffs, I don't think we'll see a um. I don't know if we'll see a we'll see a Panthers team by the end of the by the end of the de- by the end of the decade. To be honest with you, and that's kind of a hot take. And if you guys can you guys can take that with what you will, but I I really think it is a hot take. I think that it is absolutely a hot take, and I think that it's. A very um interesting. So it's gonna be it's gonna be um interesting next season for Florida. We'll definitely preview them. But today we do have a we do have another we do have a team and we do have like two or three teams in front of them before we do um their review. So yeah, um the we have announcement on the Coyotes GM. 
Uh, Blues assistant GM Bill Armstrong is quote unquote to be named the Arizona Coyotes GM. I'm seeing news from Elliot Freeman, from the Puck Report, from the Scoring Touch. I'm seeing reports from a lot of other high quality NHL networks and insiders saying that we're likely going to have Bill Armstrong as our Coyotes GM, and that's great. I think that you know, I said I said it earlier with this Coyotes team. They're really gonna have to. They're really gonna have to bring it together this season. I said it. This is going to be a time of change for the Predators. We're going to see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen this season. Um, I'm heading into my fourth season of hockey, my fourth season of being a fan of this Arizona team. Pennant's coming up, by the way. And it's going to be – this is this is, this is is going to decide whether, they, whether they're really good or they're really bad. So I hope Bill Armstrong can, contain what, can get together what he has. Um, the final piece of news that I have here, I might have missed some a few key points. I'll include that tomorrow's one. Um, is that Alexander Ovechkin will be 93 overall in NHL 21. Now, this is for all my gaming fans out there. If you, in case you didn't know, NHL 21 is available on PS4 and Xbox One. They are likely be they might be available. P, um, NHL 21 might be available on next gen consoles when they come out, whenever that is. So. We'll see what happens there, but I think it's a pretty, I think it's a decently good number. People are saying it's overrated, but he was 95 in NHL 07. So, we do, do we really want to like make an argument with that? 95 in 2007. Do we want to make an argument about that? So, no. Um, yeah, I think it's a good overall for him. Um, we'll have multiple player overalls announced over the ca- past co- next couple of weeks. I will be here to cover it um, as I cover gaming content as well. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this news time, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. We are trying to get the 500 subscribers by the end of the by June of 2021. I keep saying by the end of the year, but I doubt we'll make it to I doubt we'll make it there by the end of the year. So yeah, all of you, do make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.